The stupid comment and the ironic remark are often very effective forms of dialogue. It is so true that writers of sitcom make abundant use of both, often creating characters specially designed to embody them, the dope and the cynic. In Friends, for instance, Joey is stupid and Chandler is sarcastic. I wonder, can an ironic remark be combined with a stupid comment? On the face of it, it appears incompatible. If you are stupid, you cannot be ironic. Well, indeed, in some few cases, a line of dialogue can be both stupid and ironic. This is one of the specialties of Inspector Clouseau, a complete idiot who believes is a brilliant sleuth, always in control of the situation and always right about everything. Let me show you two examples of Clouseau's biting agency. The first example is from the second feature in the Pink Panther series called A Shot in the Dark, written by Blake Edwards, William Peter Blatty and Harry Kurnitz after a play by Marcel Achard. Let go of my back. Thank you, monsieur. Tell you, Mr. Ballon, whoever invented that wreck should have his head examined. Yes. Well, we will continue at another time. A pleasure at any time. I suggest you have your architect investigated as well. The second example is from The Pink Panther Strikes Again. Written by Frank Waldman and Blake Edwards. Oh yes, it is obvious to my trained eye that there is much more going on here than meets the ear. Before you are dismissed, Mr. Stiff Sticker, I suggest you count your bees. You may find that one of them is missing. You ruined that piano! What is the price of one piano compared to the terrible crime that has been committed here? But that's a priceless Steinway! Not anymore. I love Inspector Clouseau. Along with the credited writers, no doubt Peter Sellers was cause for his success. Hats off to the screenwriters! <laughs> <laughs>